Do you admit that you're crazy? If I'm completely honest, yes, I've been called crazy several times in relationships. I'm also telling you that the reason why I was called crazy was in a direct reaction from a specific action that occurred. There were times I overreacted, for sure, emotionally, not like key your car. But as a full-grown woman, I've established that many of those circumstances was due because I stood up for myself. I expressed my feelings, often matching the energy that was given to me first. Men like to throw that word around, specifically when they're with someone who wants them but doesn't need them. So if my boundaries and assertiveness makes me crazy, then yeah, I'm fucking crazy. Remember that your kids are learning and watching and discovering how they will ultimately allow themselves to be treated in the future by a partner. It doesn't even have to be excessively bad. It's just that they're going to learn what is acceptable in their brains and they're going to think that miserable, being miserable and not getting along is a normal way to be in a relationship. I say this with hindsight. I tried the whole let's fix it. We both tried it. It did not work. So it ended up going through that trauma again where we split up in the end anyway. So our kids had to do it not once, but twice. That was a dick move. They know we're miserable. And really, in the end, they don't care. They just want two loving parents. Married or divorced. That's my thoughts. TikTok, I think I've finally established why it is that I am and will remain single. I think I have a type. A type that, for whatever reason, it is just built in me that it is the only kind of man I find attractive. Period. I was married to this type of man for a very long time, and we all know how that ended. <laughs> the type is as follows. Always tall. Like, always taller than I am. Bearded. Exceptionally athletic. An all-in-all -all rugged man, like a Grizzly Adams man. The reason why this sucks is because I hate all of it. I, will, I hate doing those things. I hate, I hate it. Hiking? No, thank you. Mountain climbing? No. Hunting? That no. But I'll never stop you from doing it and I'll support it. I'll stay home and crochet. One day, the mummies I love you stop. They crawl into bed with you just to cuddle. That stops. They stop running up to you after work because they're happy to see you. That stops. They, they break you in a way that no other person in the world could. But you still love them. It's like the most toxic relationship on the face of the earth. And you can never leave it. That's being a mom. A lot of people will think that I put myself in this position or that that is my own fault, that I my life is the way it is. Let me assure you that I've spent the last 20 years of my life working really hard to get to a place that I could be independent and support my kids, okay? I'll start with that. I put myself through school three separate times, okay? I put myself in enormous student debt to be able to provide and have a good career. I was diagnosed with a life-changing illness that I refuse to let it affect my life so that I don't have to be on age for the rest of my life and I can make money myself. I made $1,500 this month at work. I can't pay my rent. I can't buy groceries. I've been using the food bank like a fucking loser. I, don't, I can't do anything. How is this okay? It's not- My daughter just came in my room. I'll have her tell you what she just asked me for. What do you need? Mom, I need everything you have for a satanic ritual. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so what do you want? Everything you have for a satanic ritual. But I don't think I have anything. I need anything. Okay, but what is the satanic ritual for? To do what? This will be news to me. I don't know. You 
don't know why you're summoning the Dark Lord? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, God, you're fucking weird. Here, quick question. Would you consider me a cool mom? I mean, yeah. I'm sorry, what was that? I said, yeah. Ah, oh, I guess I am. So a quick rundown of what's going on right now is my daughter went to go live with her dad for an undisclosed amount of time because financially I'm not doing good and um, she's fallen into some hard times on her, in her, within herself and she needs to go and get clean and get healthy and learn to thrive in a place where she knows no one um, aside from her father. I have been away from my daughter for approximately six months of her entire 16 years on earth and that is not a joke. I just pulled into work and on Friday they asked me if I needed some time today to kind of just settle because to ask if I'd be okay for work and I was like dude of course I mask better than any person I've ever met and masking's like a thing I do better than anyone should be able to do. There was no 5 a.m. cuddle or talk. It's been less than 24 hours and I'm a fucking mess. This is hard. Another day. Another reminder that it does not ever get better. Like, ever. All these girls out there with hot husbands. Meanwhile, I'm just over here having hot flashes. Jealous. Mental health awareness. I was trying really hard to think of something prolific to do um, to bring awareness to this topic. And then I realized I'll just be real. How I start every single day of my life. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll call you back later. Okay, love you, bye.